Okay, Bunker 2. This is the first mission that people really have difficulty with. I've seen people on Twitch take a couple days to beat this mission. This is the best tactic, in my opinion. You want to be stealthy because if people hear you, the guards, they'll just keep spawning unlimited. And if they, obviously if the cameras see you, the same thing happens. So you get these throwing knives out of this sewer. I happen to still be using the magnet as I came out of here, so I picked them up. You want to wait till these doors close so the guards don't see you down the hallway. And then you want to lure guards one by one. Now, there's like eight guards or something that walk on a constant pattern. And the pattern is around where I was there. I'll show you later. There's a few the new paths they continuously walk on you want to kill all those guards that walk on that path and from there when you do that that'll eat, win you the mission pretty easily so some of them walk they'll walk around there all the way around through this main door some of them walk down down the same path that they run down here now you notice I triggered two guards two of them saw me I'll just lure them back here every time nobody else can hear me in the mission be another guard coming because I know he saw me when you miss your throwing knife throws just pick up your knives you should have six total and I've killed and lured a bunch of guys so far thought I killed them with that first one now there may be another guy I'm not sure I've killed a bunch already they basically walk this path. They come through there, through this door. Some of them come down here and loop around. Some of them go around here and through this door again. I think I got all of them. There may be one more. I might as well lure this guy out too. I can lure him out here. And just watch as I do it. It's pretty simple. Check here, make sure no one's coming. Now remember what I said before. You can one tap and no one can hear you. And you can shoot guys through these windows. No one heard that. Pick this document up, you're gonna need this. Kill that guy going here headshot him shoot the camera he's gonna have a safe key there's gonna be two people with safe keys you need both of those keys to unlock a safe and the other guy with the safe key is gonna be in this room so there's gonna be three guys in here lure one of them out this guy out and the last guy you can take care of now in this safe you're gonna get the red dossier I believe that you compare the red dossier with the other document I picked up, and you're going to have the silenced PP7. So now you don't have to worry about the throwing knives because you have a silenced weapon. Don't worry about the guards that are back in here. They don't ever come out. You don't have to worry about them. Time this camera so it's looking away from you when you come under it. Give you more time. Pop that. Now beware of this camera up here. It's hard to see. Okay. 
pick up that tape. That's B. Now here's a tricky part too. There's a camera to the left of this hallway. You don't want to peek out here because there's going to be guys walking this hallway and you can get caught in crossfire while shooting the camera and then it's done. Pretty annoying when guards kind of fall into each other. Camera over here, blow it up. There should be a key somewhere that I didn't pick up, maybe. Right there. like what I was saying earlier guards will spawn out of this room unlimited until you kill all of them once they're all dead they won't spawn out of here now the guy I killed over here is going to have a clipboard it's going to be the same guy every time he's going to be standing right here if you trigger him he might run around the mission but I'll drop it boom got it double, double check the, mission, the objectives we need to are you kidding me right now Double check the objectives. All we need to do is disable the cameras. Now, you notice that I left Natalia in her cell. I think that's a smart thing to do. She just gets in your way. I don't I don't take her out of her cell until I've beaten the mission, essentially. Until I've killed everybody and completed all the objectives. Notice that I'm one-tapping to not trigger everybody. Pretty much done now. Just gotta blow up this last camera. And I'm done. All you gotta do is run back, get Natalia, and you're out of here. Once you've let her out of her cell, you don't have to wait for her. Once she's out of her cell, she's the game triggers her as being free. And now you just exit. So long as you have the key cards to exit the actual final door good to go you can wait if you really want to but you don't have to wait as long as she's out of her cell that's it i would say this is an a tier level difficulty mission no doubt about it with that strategy you shouldn't have much problems uh, it may take a few tries to get used to uh, luring guys properly and using the throwing knives but other than that i mean it's pretty simple Thanks for watching. Hope that helps. Later.